Let's face it, AI robots are here to stay. At the moment, they deliver goods, make pizzas, and even assist with military training. Their use in policing everyday citizens, however, has so far been limited. But as ever, there are major concerns when the technology is introduced into society. Critics are worried blind acceptance to the technology could open the way to robotic police invading people's privacy, such as in dystopian films and novels where civil liberties are inhibited. Advocates, however, claim they are simply trying to improve safety and justice within society. So let's take a look at the few developments going on around the world. With AI gradually creeping into all aspects of life, the shock value of robots operating human roles is becoming less and less. The sight of a robot in real life can still be jarring, but it can often also be dismissed with a shrug of the shoulders. A robot serving you food? Why not? Though in China, they are trying to sell off this, shall we say cute, replica of a dog to people willing to splash out $2,400. Many of these concepts have been fairly well received. It's not terribly invasive, it can be practical, and it's also just a bit of fun. But what happens when this technology moves into the realm of policing? In Honolulu, Hawaii, robotic police dogs have been measuring the temperature of homeless people to determine whether they may have COVID symptoms. The robo-dog, named Spot, was developed by US robotics company Boston Dynamics. However, critics have called its use in Honolulu as dehumanising. A similar version of the robot hound was used by the New York Police Department, but it was scrapped after receiving heavy criticism, including from Democratic politician AOC. Concerns were raised after it was seen patrolling in lower socioeconomic communities such as the Bronx. Then there's the Dubai Police Robot, which has been seen on the streets since 2017. This menacing fella is used more for awareness campaigns, but there are other examples which have also drawn criticism. Singapore has divided opinion with their new Robocop, Xavier, which was developed by HDX. It's equipped with seven eyes, or cameras, to provide a 360 degree video feed. And it's fitted with several sensors for autonomous navigation, meaning it can roll through the streets to identify undesirable social behaviour, such as improperly parking bikes, illegal trading, smoking in prohibited areas and breaching social distancing rules. The data is streamed to a video analytics system with AI capability, which allows it to detect indiscretions. And it then sends a real-time alert to a command and control centre so public officers can respond to incidents. There's no mention of facial recognition. The Singapore government says the robocops weren't used to identify or take action against offenders during a three-week trial. But it's not far-fetched to suggest the next step could indeed be actual police enforcement, like we've seen in sci-fi fiction such as Axel and Black Mirror. On an island that already boasts 90,000 surveillance cameras and has been criticised for its poor civil liberties and human rights record, it could be another step towards monitoring the city-state's population. The Singapore government has also trialled using facial recognition on lampposts. Many robotics companies, including Boston Dynamics, have made it clear that they won't be weaponizing their products. Boston Dynamics in particular have been keen to distance themselves from such developments, having received funding early on from the US military. Other companies, well, they aren't so picky, such as Ghost Robotics, who paraded their armed robot back in October on Twitter. The four-legged machine has an unmanned rifle with a 30 times optical zoom, thermal camera and an effective range of 1,200 metres. It shows just how easy it could be to add an unmanned weapon to an operational police robot. There are calls from NGOs such as the Human Rights Watch for the introduction of legislation which bans any such use. In the meantime, however, there's nothing stopping any company attaching weapons at their will. The arguments for utilising AI within this realm are plenty. It could be used to protect people from entering hazardous environments, as well as preventing crime and antisocial behaviour. But detractors say it would be just another step to further militarising the police, and that the technology could be exploited once it's been introduced and normalised. 
we only have to look towards China. They have reportedly used companies' facial recognition technology in order to identify ethnic minorities, such as the Uyghurs. So where do you stand on the Robocop divide? Is it going too far or is it simply a natural progression in the world of AI development?